This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. I bumped into a picture the other day. Not only did it look familiar, but more significantly, it turned out to be a picture of this infamous person, Stacy Ann Litz. You've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. And I had no idea that I had already taken her picture myself uh, until I, I just, I just, I recognized uh, this, this new picture. I mean, I just didn't know this was, this person was her. Verifying that this is, in fact, the freedom activist who attended Porkfest and became a government informant. Well, learning that uh, sent sent me on a sort of an interesting journey. I felt that I should run the images that I'd shot of her at Porkfest. I had to make sure that it was really her. They'd already aired once, but in sort of an innocuous manner. I mean, I was just filming a wedding, basically, and she just happened to be part of that. Anyway, when I posted these images on Facebook to request confirmation, I got plenty of confirmation, and of course, there are a bunch of people commenting who were really angry at her. But one of the people who commented was her, uh, Stacy Ann Litz. When somebody posted a lengthy recollection of what happened, what, what the story was, why and how Stacy Ann Litz became a government informant, Litz responded, quote, I love how what really happened was written by someone who didn't have first-hand experience on, well, what really happened. Still waiting for a real, truth-seeking individual to interview me. Until then, gossip away, drug war wins. Unquote. So, obviously, that was an opportunity to try and interview her. And I sent her a note. Maybe I should back up just a little bit uh, and go into a little bit more detail about the informing situation. Litz was allegedly caught uh, selling illegal drugs, uh, and the authorities apparently leaned on her to make her become an informant, as is, as is common. Even though she's connected to the Free State Project, this happened in, uh, I think, Philadelphia. In response to her post, I sent, their, I sent her an email that says, uh, quote, Hello, yeah, I can probably interview you. That doesn't sound like a problem. It may be a few weeks, and we'll need to set up a number and a time for me to call. Fair warning, I'll likely also CC to the public whatever you say to me via email, Facebook. And she responded, quote, I'll consider it. I'm trying to wait for this series of events to be over so I can finally feel that it is complete enough to write a book on the subject. But once I think that state is done fucking with me over the or the or the libertarians are being done uh, beating me to a pulp, there's a new development that causes me to lose my conclusions. I suppose that as of now I can say that the truth about everything note that was spread around is not accurate. The informant thing has been used as a scapegoat by just about everyone who didn't like me to begin with. All of a sudden, I abuse my ex-boyfriend, I'm a shifty character all around, people start to claim that all my work for the student liberty movement never existed. Ridiculous. None of that is true. But what is true is that I became an informant when my own life and liberty was threatened and due to the environmental factors, she says, that at that time... Bad advice. Fear. Panic. I made a huge mistake in becoming an informant. I was deceived, and in the end, it didn't matter either way to the judge. I was tricked and was a complete idiot. I reached out to the victims and asked them if they needed anything, and I'm living with the guilt of my actions every day. But you know that. That's not what you probably want to hear. You don't want to believe that I am sorry. I don't know what would satiate... The Angry Public, R.E. Stacy Litz, the snitch informant bitch cunt. Maybe one of the keyboard activists can enlighten us here. My ultimate goal from all of this is to now educate not only the liberty movement, they are already pretty educated, but you can see in my case that may not even be so. But the entire world on the drug war, 
Liberty people would feel extreme guilt because their values are being deprived if becoming an informant. Sadly, the rest of the world may become brainwashed that drugs are actually bad and think that becoming an informant is actually a good thing. I don't blame anyone for becoming an informant, hence why I probably seem to lack a degree of self-loathing and pity. This, I think, is the big argument here, the big can of worms. She became an informant. That's it. Done. But I don't blame the person who led an undercover cop to my own home. Why? Because you're threatening life, freedom. The little that we have left. Gone. When it comes to life, a gun at your head, a cage waiting for you, this is why people become informants. It sucks, and what I would hope to educate everyone on is how not to get caught. So this isn't a problem in the first place if you choose to do illegal things. What happens if you choose not to become an informant? Do you have a chance at freedom? How the drug war turns communities on each other, people versus people, over people versus the government, etc. That's it. Maybe I should talk to you. Let me know a few times and a number. Unquote. So, I don't know how unusual that is for her to speak on the record about this, but there it is. And uh, later on, I may have an actual interview over the phone with her. It's definitely not handling informants the way Michael Collins did. But I think it's very constructive to shine the light on uh, this kind of situation. And it, I, it's given me a whole lot of ideas. Just to, to having gone this far uh, in the conversation has already given me a lot of ideas as to how these kinds of situations could be handled. More on that later. Stay tuned for the eventual, hopeful, phone interview. This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.